Hey, what's going on YouTube? I know it's been roughly a month of Sundays, which breaks out to about 30, 31 weeks, but, and sometimes 28 and 29, and, and February 28 and 29. Anyway, it's been a while. <laughs> and I'm not gonna say that I'm back with the jump off because I've done that a million videos before, I'm sorry. I'm one, I'm in a new video uniform. I, I don't even know if the camera is right, but cool because I'm wearing this little warm thing because it's getting cold out. So I can't just sit around in my t-shirt, you know? Anyway, so I was just thinking about this story about this time that of this woman years ago who asked me, are you gay? And of course, years by years ago, I was still in college. That was actually my senior year in college. And uh, I don't need to go into all of that pretentious stuff. But it suffice it to say, I was doing work at two schools. Anyway, through concurrent enrollment, feel free to look that up because th that's, that's very helpful. I would not have been able to graduate that semester had I not been able to enroll concurrently at a different university in the whatever it's called university system. Anyway, so I was in this other university and I was talking with this, I wasn't talking with her, but she was just like, hey, Aaron, and this is the last day of class. She was like, hey, Aaron, can I ask you a personal question? And I was like, uh-oh. In my mind, I'm like, uh-oh, what's this going to be? She's like, are you gay? And I was like, okay, Aaron, keep it cool. Because if you get all nervous and act like... Who told you that? Where'd you hear? No. Uh, w w w like, if you get nervous, it's going to be obvious that you're gay. So just play it cool, keep cool, and just tell her no. And I was like, no. And she was like, oh, okay. I was just wondering. And sure enough, <laughs> it's amazing how things find their way of working out like this. But... Sure enough, later that same day, I was like, it's Friday, all righty, wop up, loop up, the weekend's here. And I was at the club. And of course, what kind of club would a gay guy such as myself or same gender loving guy such as myself go to? So of course, at the gay club, I'm, you know, shaking it up, shaking my groove thing, because I used to love dancing from as soon as I walked through the door of the club all the way until the club let out early the next morning. Like, I used to dance all night, literally. Like, dance horribly, but I, I used to, because I used to be like Mariah Carey with my dances, just pose and pose and uh, uh. You know, uh, okay, this is something else I was gonna talk about, totally random. But um, you know how people do this when it's like, call me, you know, and it's like, that's so, uh, you know, that's not diva. So I, I remember seeing this video performance by Diana Ross years ago. And, and it wasn't, a, I mean, it was a performance that she did in the 70s, literally before I was born. But she was like, she was doing Ain't No Mountain High Enough. And she was like, if you need me, call me. And I'm like, that. I love that. I love that as call me instead of this. It's like, ew, what's that? But if you need me, call me. And I'm like, ah, I love that so much. Anyway, so I was shaking it up at the club. And guess who I run into? Oh, before I say that. So when I told her no, she was like, oh, so you just say no. That, I, you're just pretty comfortable with that, huh? And I'm like, yeah, you know, no, you know, I mean, arr, you know, whatever. And I saw her at that club that night, and she was like, oh, you're not gay, huh? Okay, dance with him. And she, like, put me on her friend, and we danced, me and her friend or whatever, and he danced on me, because, you know, like, that's how we do nowadays. People dance on each other, so he was dancing on me, and I was dancing on him. But I just thought that was such a funny story, because I was like, she's like, are you gay? And I said... No. 
<laughs> and that's such a heterosexual way to say no, because it's like, I'm comfortable with my masculinity, which I am. I'm comfortable with my masculinity. I am a same gender loving man. So I can mix it up. And I've discussed that with y'all a million times about my the one who got away guy who was like, we're gay. Of course, we have a mix of masculine and feminine traits. And I get it. That's sort of a heteronormative perspective to have on it. But whatever. Anyway, oh, guys, talk to y'all later. Nope. Okay, I was trying to make it under six minutes. But since I'm at six minutes, I might as well just finish this up and say, yeah, so she <laughs> she had us dance on each other and all that stuff. It's funny how the way I worded that made it sound like prostitution. <laughs> she, she, that's actually not funny. But um, <laughs> he was a cute guy. I, I, I don't know why we didn't stay in touch. I, because I always assume that people aren't into me unless they explicitly say, hey, Aaron, you are handsome. I am into you. Like, I don't do signs. I, I don't read signs at all. I'm horrible at that. I always assume people just aren't into me. Anyway, all right. So that's enough before we get to seven minutes. Talk to y'all later, YouTube. That was a cute story, wasn't it? It was totally cute. Anyway, talk to y'all later. Peace, be blessed.